Welcome back everyone. Here we are going to discuss and analyze the problem D. Co-growing sequence of code forces round 731 rated for D3. In case you want to solve this problem, the link of this problem is provided in the description. Let's read the problem. A sequence of non-negative integers a1 to an is called growing if for all i from 1 to i n minus 1 all ones of in ai are in the place of ones in other words ai and ai plus 1 is equal to ai ai that's the main idea and if n equal to 1 the sequence is considered growing as well okay here they have provided some examples of growing sequence 2 3 15 175 and if you look at this 1 0 and 1 1 this is bitwise and you will get 2 this is in binary representation and if you take any number like 1 0 0 1 1 1 1 you are still getting 2 hence this number are growing even sing, single di digit number is growing the key idea here is to note here that even 1 2 3 and so on till 9 are growing sequence this is the idea from this point and let's look at why the next example like 3 4 5 is not growing so if you convert that in number like 3 is in this format a 1 1 and 5 or 4 is in uh, 1 0 0 in binary form if you do the end of this you will get 0 0 0 which is not equal to ai or if you take 1 0 0 and 1 0 1 you are getting 1 0 0 which is ok but we are not getting ai that is 1 1 we are not getting this here the key point to note here is i should be from 1 to n minus 1 ok so it should be true for all the i's right but it's not true for all the i's hence this sequence is not growing now we have found out that uh, growing sequence and non-growing sequence examples now let's look into what the problem really wants or the problem setter really wants consider two sequence of non-negative integers x1 to xn and y1 to yn let's call this pair of sequence co-growing whenever the word co is uh, added, added to or used as a prefix it means that with, re with respect to some other parameter so here uh, one can say co-growing with respect to x or with respect to y x or y and if the sequence x, x1, xor, x2, x2, xor, x, y2 and so on is called growing where this uh, is bitwise or xor. Now you are given a sequence x1 to xn, this is the input and find the lexographically minimal sequence yi such that the sequence x1 i and yi are co-growing ok the sequence a1 
A or A I is lexicographically smaller than the B I. If there exist one to n such that A I equal to B I for any one equal to I to less than k, it's not equal to k. So any sequence which is which follows this is lexicographically smaller. So here we can say that there is no chance of any duplicate elements. But not but a k is less than b k. That's a lexicographically minimal sequence definition. And if you look at the input constraints, we can. find out that the test cases are of order 10 power 4 and is of order 10 power 5 so maximum feasible solution or the time complexity for this solution which is which can be accepted should be order of t times n this should be the maximum complexity for this problem and here it is guaranteed that this sum cannot exceed 2 into 10 power 5 for all the test cases now we found out that these are the questions now let's move towards the explanation part let's consider some sequence like x1 X two till X n, and we have been given n and X i sequence, and our objective here is to find to find y i sequence for all i from one to n, such that they are co-growing. Here, uh, co-growing. They have provided that this is growing. That's what has been provided in the question. And if you check x1, x2, x2, y1, you will get some. Uh, values in binary let's say value is 2 now we need to convert that into binary form or if it is in binary form let's assume that it is some binary sequence of k length k length sequence k length binary sequence where you may get some zeros some ones and for co go through for growing sequence one has to be fixed or in either position so that if you do and you will get at least one ones and that such that this sequence is maintained so irrespective of this values irrespective of the values before this we must at least have one ones or zeros so that uh, we can get the growing sequence here you can add one one and this will become k minus 3 length will be either 0 or 1 here k minus 2 sequence or length was 0 or 1 similarly you need to carry out for all x x i x or y i Then only you will get the 
y i sequence and the other idea of xor if you know this property like if you know the property of xor using and and using conjunction or disjunction like xi yi plus xi yi bar which is negative so to get this this is and operation this and operation has to have at least one once in binary sequence and this has to have at least one one in binary sequence now to get this we will keep a flag so that we know that whether this sequence has at least one or this sequence has at least one so we will keep this using this can be kept track kept track using flag or temp variable to know that which of this will have at least one binary one in binary sequence this will be better understood if you look at the code point of view or from the code perspective you will get the glance of how this is working here you can check like i have inserted the arrays and then i have taken the flag which is initially set to 0 and then i will doing the or so that i know that this sequence or if you know the property of or uh zero and something zero or something will zero and this xi has to be one so that will result in one and if zero if xi is zero then it will result in zero so in that way my flag variable will change so that i know that oh this is my uh sequence that has one if that sequence has one then my flag value will be set to one if that sequence doesn't have uh, flag it doesn't have values set at least one then it will flag will be zero and similarly then for y sequence we are doing the xor of that and then we are printing that sequence hope you and the time complexity for this problem will be time complexity for this problem will be order of t into n as we are comparing n length or n sequence of x and each sequence of xi will have some bits maximum bits so it can be represented by bits if uh, let's assume that 2 power 30 that's a maximum number of bits 2 power 30 which is nearly 10 power 9 so this is the time complexity for this problem and space complexity will be order of n as we need to store the order of n as we need to store sequence 
we need to store sequence y store sequence y hope you enjoyed my analysis and if you have any kind of query or feedback please do post in the comment box